Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Benny a True Nut, and welcome to Serial Cleaner, a little indie puzzle game, I guess, that sits somewhere between Party Hard and Viscera Cleanup Detail. This one came out of absolutely nowhere, and it's also very, very early on. I don't think it's even got a Steam page yet, actually. Um, the devs contacted me directly about this one, and normally a game this early I don't really look at, but it's got a fun idea and it already looks quite pretty, so I kind of wanted to give it a little bit of a look. So as you might reasonably be able to intuit from the title, you are basically playing a cleaner who goes to the site of serial murders and mass murders and whatever, and cleans them up on behalf of the mob, so that, you know, the police Please don't find any bodies or whatever, whatever. I'll just show you, it's easier. So here we are, and this is me down by the car. I am the cleaner, and I basically need to get all the evidence away from the scene. If I just kind of hold down left trigger, then you will see things that I need to get rid of. One piece of evidence, a watch needs to be picked up, and one body needs to be got out of the way too. The watch I can just pick up and that's fine. The body needs to be picked up and then taken back to my car. Except of course there are people who are going through routines little guards. Now I have no way of defending myself. I can try and run away but I've got no sprint and he's just as fast as me so unless I happen to get kind of lucky and round the back of some scenery or something that's not going to work. So instead I need to learn what all the guards routines are and I can zoom right out to see the whole level in order to kind of you know make sure that guy's far away. So he's gone far away. I grab the watch, I move over here, he'll see that that's gone missing, and I can just quickly now head up here. I grab the body, so I've now got the body in the little body bag, and now I just need to pick my moment to head back down. So obviously he's going to turn away in a second, head over here, he turns away, I go over here, dump the body into the car, and we are now ready to go. Go to the car, and off we go. That's it, that's the little training mission. So I guess it's kind of a stealth game and kind of a puzzle game and of course you know it comes from learning the routines and working around the routines and making sure you don't get spotted or if you do hiding correctly and kind of doing things in the right order and all of that good stuff. Because yeah you've got no way of attacking like if you sneak up behind a guard you can't like do a one button takedown or anything. There's, as far as I'm aware like there's no way to take out any of the guards so you've literally just got to basically like avoid them and learn the routines and work around them. So it's kind of a pure stealth game I guess. Yes. Now what have we got here? So, we've got a spot we can hide in, so that's a way you can kind of navigate around the level. You can kind of hide in the hide spots and then pop back out at a convenient moment. We've also got to get three bodies back to our car and one bit of evidence to pick up. So if I go over here, I can just hop in this box and then pick a point to come out at. Fine. So that body up there, probably what I need to do is I need to figure out exactly what your routine is. Am I safe directly underneath the cop car? Because does his vision cone ever cover the cop car? Okay, it does there, but when he runs away and heads back inside, this will be a good moment to try and get that. So this will be the right moment to maybe, no, maybe or not, not quite. Oh, well, never mind. Now, I've just thrown myself at the guards a few times to kind of learn how they react and stuff like that. And it feels like the levels are a bit randomised because the bodies and the things you need to pick up move from go to go. So now the body that was kind of uh, just to the right of that guy over on the left is now up in the top corner. So as a result of that, the guard patterns seem to be the same. So he is going to basically go up top in a second. So if I just go and grab the bot, No, oh, darn it. Okay, this one should be an easy one right here. Grab you, out here, and then straight back in the car. Okay, so, one body collected. We've got one that's actually in the ring, which is a bit more difficult. The time to get that will presumably be when he is... Hmm, when is it going to be? When he goes back up to the top? No, when, he goes, when he's in the top right, he turns and faces the body. Okay, that's going to be a bit on the tricky side. Okay, wait for him to go down south. Let's go down to south and... Okay, now, wait for the right moment. I'm just going to head up here. Okay, he's going to freak out a little bit because the body he knows is there is gone. So he's going to look around, but he's not panicking, but he is reacting. Because he knows there was a body there, but now there's not. So I'm just going to hide up in this office. And... Oh, oh, almost got spotted there. Okay, in a moment. I'm hoping guy on the left's going to go south. You're going to go down, and that's going to give me a chance... To get out of here, just. Whew. Right, next up, we've got to pick up some piece of evidence from up north. And there is a spot I can hide in at the top. So remember to use the hide spots, they're quite bloody useful. 
So I'm waiting for you to go over to here. There we are. We're now hidden over there. So I think actually, yep, grab that. We've got ourselves a bit of evidence related to this boxing club murder. Now wait for him to do another loop and I'll pop out and go straight back down south and we'll have everything we need. And there we go. But this time he noticed that the thing that I stole was gone, so he went to investigate them. So yeah, you kind of want to... You can probably actually use stealing things in a particular order to your advantage. Because yeah, they definitely kind of react to things that have been stolen. So as a result, that might kind of lead a guard away that would help you get another thing. Now I think the body this time is easier to get to. Because that guy up in the top left, he turns right. Then he turns down. Then he presumably turns to the left. Yeah? Okay, so his next move is to the right. Now don't be up there. Be ready, be ready, be ready. And yep. And now grab. And now go, 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 go. Okay, leave the body, leave the body, leave the body, leave the body. Get in the box. The body stays where it was. I've lost the cop. And hopefully he's now going to leave this body be, right? Yes, okay, good. And now he's done that. Pick the body up again, straight back to the car, and on we go. So you can dump the body anytime you want, and it stays where you dumped it. Perfect. All right, next up, where are we? Some form of little shopping precinct, and this time we get a new mechanic. So you've got to get three bodies, three items, and we've got to clean up the blood. So yes, it is a bit viscera cleanup detail. So we've got one guy there who... Do you ever move or... Oh, darn it. Right. They're pretty good on the old vision and whacking you with a stick. We've also got teleports we can use. All right, let's try these. Teleport. So now I'm up on the roof. And that leads me to... Where's this teleport to? Oh, is that teleport to... Wait, where is that to? I don't know. Let's find out. Oh, I'm now behind that guy. Lovely. So now you can see just by running over stuff, I'm cleaning up... All of that are now back up top. Beautiful. Okay. So we can use that to get up top whenever we want to. It's instantaneous. So I've got to make sure he's facing the right way at the time. Now we just go into... Oh, flip, 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 flip. Turn away, turn away, turn away, turn away. Let me escape, you bastard. And away we kind of go, but not quite. And I think he's lost track of me. Yes, he has. Phew. So I've probably got to teleport down from the roof at the right time to not get seen by that guy and also go and hide in that box, at which point I'll be able to re-evaluate what it is I should do. Fine, got it. So head up top here, wait for the right moment to teleport, which will be just after he's turned back. So, okay, so that guy is now turning north. Okay, now up here and in here. Okay, wait for him to pass me by because he'll go over to the right in a minute. And once he's done that, move this. And now I've just blocked this path, I believe. So I think now he can't get past. No, he can't. So in which case, what's he going to do next? Because he's now back to the area where I started. Okay, so he's now trapped. I've basically trapped this guy in that first area, which is, oh, not that good, because there's another guy here. But, okay, good. Now I can do a little bit of quick hoovering, hoovering, just get out all of the lovely blood, very good, and let's just move the body over to, let's just move it here for now, finish cleaning up the blood, there we are, 64% blood cleaned, and is that, I think that's, oh, hide, 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 you didn't see a thing, did you, my good man, no, and interestingly, someone decided to draw a ram's head, out of salt. So in a moment he'll get bored and go back to his routine. Very good. And now I believe he won't come out again because he's the inside guy. So as soon as he goes further inside, I can go and clean up the last of the blood here. Very good. And now we can, oh, we can pick up the salt that was used to draw the ram's head. He'll freak out a little bit because now he doesn't know where the flipping... Oh, hang on. Is there a... Oh, there's a hide... hide spot here. Hide there. Okay. Wait for him to go past this way and I'll be able to close up the door using the move object and I'll be able to trap him earlier in the level again. Perfect. Oh. Okay. Wait for the right moment so we can make this thing make sound. And then that'll summon him over and hopefully he'll stand like here and I'll be able to get past him easily. Right. Sound. Hide. And now go through here. Move that, and we have got this area blocked off. Nice. 
now we can just zoop up all of this lovely blood here. Very good. And he won't be able to make it through this area anymore. Very good. Unless he can make it around the long way. Oh, he might be able to make it around the long way. Right, this could be bad, 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 bad. Never mind. Don't well, don't worry. That body was totally always there. Right. Grab the body. Head around here. Dump the body with the other body. Okay, so now we've got the two bodies next to each other. That's probably good. Oh, flip, 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 darn it! Ah, but now I see how the level works a little bit better. I can see clearly that the gate next to my car, there's a little yellow panel that will open the gate. So I basically need to be moving the corpses through the area. And also, there's a bit of blood to be cleaned up. And I've actually got different spawns this time. There's a guy right up there. Ooh, that one's going to be a bit more tricky to deal with, mind. That guy right there, I need to literally teleport down, clean up the blood, and then... Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, he never faces that way. He literally never sees this, because his his two cones are simply not... No, he will never actually see me. Marvellous. And then teleport. Actually, never mind. That one is, in fact, very, very easy. So, that's an easy first one. Okay, so I'm pretty much back to where I was, but everything's just shuffled around a little bit again. So, I've had a thought, which is one. Well, I need to get up that piece of evidence. That's first up. Need to get up the salt. Lovely. So, I've got one of the, uh, the bits of evidence there. Now I need to hide in here. Now, if I were to just loop round the top by going through the laundrette on the left there and just going around the outside of that guy, because I'm pretty sure, well, how far, hmm. I'm not sure I've actually got time to get round the side of him. That's really, really tight, because I wouldn't mind getting round the back of him. So if I've got round the back of him, then I can get around the back of the guy at the bottom and lock him out of this office where there are now two bodies. Which would be much, much easier. Okay, as soon as this guy turns away, just make a run for the teleportation. And teleport. Okay, now we're up top, but there's no way else to get there. Ah, that's like a little kind of break halfway through. So as soon as he turns away again... Right, go, 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 and now we're safe down here. Okay, and as long as we're standing over here, we're all right. Now, that guy over there, I can go to... Oh, do I have time? Do I have time? I don't have time if I'm going to do it like this. And pick up, 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 get in the box. And you see nothing. Apparently, there were more guys than I was expecting. Marvellous. Well done, me. Right, wait for you two to turn away. Okay. Okay, get in, 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 get in. Oh, this is going to go very badly wrong, unfortunately. And make a noise. And that wasn't a thing I could hide in. You see, I'm increasingly rethinking this, which is, I suspect, actually, the easiest way might be to completely ignore all of the gates and stuff at the bottom because there's, like, three different guys in that area. And instead, just get all the corpses out the same way I'm going to get the first one out, simply by kind of moving them back to the starting area by the teleports on the right. The question is, that guy, if I don't close that area off, what does he do? Oh, wait, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, alternate plan, alternate plan, alternate plan. Just quickly zoom up this blood if we need to. Grab this here, body. Don't mind me. Right, let's just get you out of the way first. You see, this time I'm just going to say, screw it for this office. And I'm just going to say, okay, we just go in, we grab the body. We're just going to go and do the cleaning while he's not facing in this direction. And then once we're done with the cleaning, which should be pretty easy to do just with just a quick couple of backwards and forwards. And if we need to, then we can just do... Just make sure you don't face... You face the right direction, don't you? Yep, there we are. Cleaned up a little bit of blood there. We just need a tiny bit more. Ah, problem. One of the bodies this time is all the bloody way back there. Down in the very, very bottom left. Well, that's going to cause a bit of trouble. And yet more blood to be cleaned up. There we are. The blood in the office is all done. Perfect. Because everyone knows if there's no blood, there was blatantly no crime. As I need to come this way through the laundry anyway, I'm going to go and get that body. I'm going to bring it sort of with me. In fact, I can actually... There may well be uses for this. I might be able to use this body as a way to, like, get around, like, distracting the guys a bit better. Teleport up here. Yep, fine. And soon she turns away, then down here, lovely. So, if I were to drop this body somewhere, that might actually get someone's attention. Now, who else have we got? We've got that guy there, 
And all that guy down there does is turn from left to right, the guy at the very, very bottom, okay? To get through to the bit at the end there, I need the exact right moment of the guy at the top looks up, the guy at the bottom looks left, and the guy in the office is somewhere else to actually get past to the end there. And I wouldn't mind picking up this item while I'm doing it, but this is going to require a heck of good timing here. Probably this is what that close is for, really. The moving item in the office, I move that to force him into a wider loop, which just gets him out of the way for a minute, which would be quite convenient. So let's just let that happen. Yep, fine. In here. And just, yep, move. Got that. So he's now stuck out of the way. Wait for you to turn out of the way so I can get... Oh, flip. This isn't going to work. 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 I want to say this isn't going to work. It's really not going to work. Through here. Right, so I've now dumped a body so I can run a bit faster. But that's fine. That body's still in a, you know, broadly goodish position. It's okay. Okay, let's get the rest of that blood quickly. And out of the way. Nice. Okay. The blood's all gone. The body's in a sort of convenient-ish position. Is there a safe spot to the left of that police car that the guy who moves backwards and forwards through the office will never see? That's kind of what I want to know next, because if I could find a safe space to the left of the police car when this guy comes back. So he comes to the edge of the office, and then he... Yes. So to the very top left of the police car... There is a safe spot about here-ish, right? Yeah, okay. So now I can clean the blood. Just go in, clean, 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 clean. Back up top to the safe bit. Back up top to the safe bit. He doesn't notice the blood's been cleaned. And now just, just probably wait for a second because now all of a sudden everyone's seeing everywhere. So don't worry about it. Okay, turn away now. Okay. Oh, flip, 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 flip. It's all gone wrong. It's all gone. Balls. Oh, this one's easier. This one's way, way easier. So there's only an item to pick up down in that final spot. But actually, all of the bodies are earlier on. Okay. I think we should do this a different way to how I've been doing it so far. One, the salt is in a really nice, easy place this time. Okay. Fine. So this time, as there's actually a body here today, I'm just going to clear up all of this. Oh, careful mind. Because that guy's still there. Don't forget that guy. I'm going to let that guy go past. Right. And as soon as he's gone past, I'm going to go and grab this body and then maybe not. And then hide in the box, which is completely thrown off the police's finest. So this time, we're bringing out the bodies the way I came. We're not even going to think about the gate. The gate is a bit of a false friend. So that's two of the three bodies already done. Now this time, wait for him to go through. We'll close the door, but we'll be opening it up again later. We're not actually planning to keep him trapped there forever on this occasion. Instead, now I just want this body to be moved up here, ready to be moved out exactly the same way. By now, the guy down in that office will be freaking out because he's just kind of lost a body, which is arguably an important thing in a murder case. Now, this one's a bit more interesting. On this occasion, the sound maker's moved as well, so I could actually move that guy out of the way a lot more easily. But I feel like that guy really was never the problem. Back this side via the roof teleport again. And this time, grab and then move. He'll see that and not be sure where the heck it's gone. I'll take that opportunity to go up here. Lovely. And now I'll follow this guy in here and do a little bit more cleaning up of the blood and then get out of here because I've probably outstayed my welcome. He does not see blood being cleaned up. They see bodies being moved and corpse and stuff, but they do not see blood disappearing. So 87% blood clean. The only blood left really. I think there's a tiny speck in the office, but mainly it's down at the bottom left. All right, and then just get all of the blood up and then get out of here. Okay, that there is one clean office. Beautiful. So, up here, I need to go and get that bit of evidence at the very bottom left as well as cleaning up the remaining blood. That should not be too difficult to do. So, teleport. Wait for him to turn away and then we'll teleport back down. Okay. 
The danger is there's nowhere really to hide in this area. This area is really lacking in the hiding. But I can stay up here in the top left of this police car and they never see that. Nobody can see that. So all I need to do is, well, I need to clean up the blood here. The problem is after I've cleaned up the blood, I need to grab the item. And when I grab the item, when he next sees the area, he will freak out because he'll see that a piece of evidence has gone missing. So wait for him to turn. Right, clean up all of the things. Do not grab the item yet. We need to plan our escape route. Now, is that the blood? 99% of blood. Oh dear. Where's the remaining blood? Wait for him to turn away next and then go. Get this. Head up here. Be ready to move up and make a run for the laundry door. Run for the laundry door. Okay. We should be pretty clear at this point. And then back down into the laundry. And okay. We've got all of the evidence. There's one body that needs to be moved yet. And we've also got some blood somewhere. Let's just double check this area. I cannot see any sign of blood there. There might be a tiny bit more. That might be a tiny bit of blood next to that thing. Yeah, I think there might be a tiny bit of blood next to the evidence market in the office. I'm not sure. Oh, got it. Got it. Yes, that's 100%. Okay, we are at 100% clean. This is good. Now, what I need to do next is I need to do, as soon as he runs down to the south, because the guy who can't get past the box I've moved in his way runs down to the south next to the car instead. So, what I need to do is wait for him to do that, then open this. Grab the- oh, oh, no, 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 okay, fine. He knows, he knows, the moment that gets opened, he knows about it. Okay, next, I need to get that body out of here, so he's gonna go over there. Right, I need to go over here, and teleport. Right, teleport, and that should be it. Yes, yes, oh yes. <laughs> Whew, this is tense. And what I believe is the final and toughest mission of all. Oh, blimey, they're even hunting you near your car in this one. So, welcome to the... Oh, flipping heck. A murder at a steakhouse. Marvellous. Four bodies, two items, and a heck of a lot of blood to clean. Though, conveniently, it looks like... Ah, there's a second body drop. I can just dump bodies into the river... And that apparently is just flipping good enough. Marvellous. Also, who are you? Who are you that's got a... Uh... Oh, no, never mind. You are a bad person. I thought it was a good person because you had a green vision code. But that wasn't his vision code. That was just a tree. Right. Let's do some quick vacuuming in here. Highly efficient vacuuming. Not efficient enough vacuuming. Beautiful. And then we can... Ooh. Oh, we can just create a sealed little room in here. That's nice if we want to. We can just create a little private room. No, no, no. No one else come in here. This is my room now. Oh, the number of guards is getting a bit extreme here. Now, what do you do down there, by the way? You random bloke overlooking the parking area. I think you just stay there, don't you? Yes. You come in here. I wait for you to turn away. And then don't turn and see me. And yeah, we can apparently just... There we are. Dump a body into the lake. That's apparently good enough. Oh, but it's not going to be good enough for me, mind. Ouch. Ah, but on this occasion, you can use moving cars to provide yourself with kind of a moving block vision thing. Nice, so I can literally block anyone from seeing this area by moving these two cars and move around by kind of moving. Oh, but not that well, not that well, not that well. That's right, forget I was ever here. Keep forgetting I was ever here. No, 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 no. Ouch. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I think you get the point. This is Serial Cleaner. It doesn't really have a release date yet. I'm not even sure it has a public Steam page yet. It's just a thing that exists. This is a version they were showing off at PAX West. This is a fun little one. If you like your stealthy puzzle games, a kind of a cross between Party Hard and Viscera Cleanup, and that's a, that's a description I stand by, then yeah, this could be one to uh, keep an eye on. Whenever it does actually get a full release, I will certainly remind you, because I believe this is actually it for now. In this little demo version, it's only these here four levels.
Yes, indeed, it is only these four levels so far, and it's sort of implied there's going to be an actual bit of story and plenty more levels when it's done. So yeah, could well be one to keep an eye on. If you are into your stealth games, it could well be worth a look indeed. When we do get a release date and a final version, I may well give it another look. We shall see. But in the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, I've been John, this has been many a true nerd, and this has been the fun little stealth puzzler of Serial Cleaner. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Don't mind me, I'm practicing my stabbing motion. It's fine. Oh, you shouldn't have got in the way. You must die. You showed up to a party and you brought a guitar. I despise you. There's two people who are just having sex in this corridor. They're going to go down. Stab, stab. There we are. Like Romeo and Juliet, but sped up slightly. It's, the, it's kind of the footnotes version.